Hey guys, this is Brendan from Sonic Electronics and today I'm going to show you how to use a multimeter to determine what your impedance is on your woofer. So it's a straightforward video, nothing too in depth, but just to give you the basics on what settings you need your meter on to determine the impedance and uh, just a few pointers. So today we got two different meters here. We got a uh, Fluke as well as another meter that's actually one of my favorites. I forgot the name of it, but that doesn't matter. Now the first thing we want to do prior to testing impedance is for one, put it on the correct setting. So you see here I have in the impedance section of my meter, we got a 200, which is also our continuity setting, but you should get some beeps when you touch the two test leads together. Now on the other meter, we actually have an ohm symbol, impedance symbol. That's where we're going to put our meter setting on to test our impedance. And you'll see here, no continuity beep, just impedance. So for one, one step we need to make sure is the woofer is on a flat surface. For one, if I push the cone of the actual woofer, the impedance will raise or lower, et cetera, or fluctuate constantly. We don't want that. So for one, I'm going to take my two test leads, positive and negative. It actually does not matter which lead goes to each terminal on the woofer. They can be reversed. doesn't matter. Totally fine. So just for the heck of it, we got positive. I'm going to go ahead and attach my meter lead to positive. And then we have negative. We should hear a continuity beep on the meter, which will now measure 3.9 ohms or resistance. So this will give you an idea of what each coil measures on the woofer impedance wise. So if it's a dual coil, which this MVX VCW is a dual coil, it's a dual four ohm coil. By that reading there at 3.7, I just round off and I could tell it's four ohms. Now, remember in the beginning when I said I need it on a flat surface, if I touch the woofer, you could see how the impedance skyrockets or throws the meter off. So we don't want to do that. We want to make sure it's on a nice flat surface. So we've got 3.8 ohms. I'm going to show you with the fluke, the battery is actually going dead on this meter, so you'll notice a slight difference in the impedance. And remember, always make sure you got a good battery in that meter because that can drastically change your readings. As you can see here, on the fluke meter, we're getting 3.2, 3.0, between, between 2.9, 3.1, 3.2. This is telling me the battery is going dead in this meter. We have a good battery in the uh, secondary meter here, which showed me a good 3.9, 3.8 ohms, which I'll round off to four. So that's number one step. Make sure you got a good, good battery installed in that meter. Now for dual coil, you can check each coil to make sure they're at four ohms. For single coil, you just got to test the one positive, one negative lead that you have on that woofer. Now, if your woofer is already installed into like a prefab box or an enclosure like this, you can also test impedance right at the terminals, as long as your woofer's hooked up on the inside, of course if it's not, you're not going to read anything. This is a basic how-to to check impedance of your woofer. Just remember the settings that you need and make sure that you have a good battery. Also stay tuned for our new Car Audio 101 series, which will be coming up shortly, where we show you how to install radios, uh, how to wire up harnesses, amplifiers, speakers, etc. And make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up with the furthest updates. Other than that, this is Brent with Sonic Electronics. Hope you guys have a great day.